How airplanes fly, and how the wing works to make an airplane fly, seems to be a concept that's elusive to most people, including pilots. Today I'm going to show you how it works using this model of my pit special. And you know this is a model of my pit special because it's missing the prop. Let's do some kitchen science. I'm at the sink where we have a flow of a fluid, water, which will help us visualize the air flowing around a wing. So let's turn it on. I'm going to get my model pits and I'm going to put it in the flow. And let me go ahead and turn this video for those of you who don't like to fly vertical. Now, the flow is going over the wing. It's fairly even on both sides, indicating about a zero angle of attack. As I start to increase angle of attack, you'll notice the flow of fluid, its laminar flow over the wing is being redirected downward. And that's how lift is created. We could get into Bernoulli and Coanda and all those other things, but this is really about the redirection of the air over the wing, which is what a wing does. It pushes air down and redirecting the energy of pushing air down pushes the wing up because Newton's third law says for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So that's how we create lift. So let's keep increasing angle of attack, which would create more lift. And you see that flow being redirected even more to a point. And we reach that point, which is the critical angle of attack, when the flow can no longer be on both sides of the wing or no longer have laminar flow and starts to separate, particularly over the top of the wing. And that is when the stall occurs. That's how an airplane flies.